Welcome back, everybody. Looking nice right now around the capital and a lot of locations in the western half of the state, but that's not how it looked earlier today. Nice blue sky, but of course we had some showers, some wind, some higher elevation snow around the capital. 56 degrees. The wind is almost that high. 37 mile per hour gusts here in the last few minutes. Great Falls also looking a lot different right now than just a few hours ago. We even had some hail uh, on the east side of town. 56 degrees as well with uh, west winds up to about 37 miles per hour. 50s, couple of 60s. Shower must have just moved over West Yellowstone, which is why they're down to about 37. Wind gusts uh, still at about 37, close to 40 miles per hour off of the Rocky Mountain front. But the wind is beginning to even die down just a little bit. On the radar, you can see all the activity uh, this morning and then carrying over into the afternoon. Some of that snow up on the Continental Divide this morning and then the rain showers moving off towards the east. Lightning strikes, I showed you this before, lots of lightning strikes. North central, northeast Montana, southeastern part of the state as well. Still a few strikes clearing out around the capital, even those showers that were up on the divide have diminished over the uh, little belt. Still seeing a little in the way of uh, some snow, but uh, uh, off of the little belt mountain mountains there around Highway 87 looking uh, at just a couple of showers and the intensity of these showers is beginning to diminish as well. When that sun starts going down, it's amazing uh, the fuel that the sun offers and then when the sun kind of goes down, the showers also uh, go down. That was a pretty nasty cell that moved right east of Glasgow right there and uh, in between Fort Peck and uh, Fraser. And then uh, there's that lightning again. A lot of activity up here in the northeastern part of the state and uh, more in the way of intense thunderstorms, severe thunderstorms breaking out here through the center part of the country. All those little boxes indicating yellow boxes where there are severe thunderstorms. Now the wind, boy, what a pain in the neck it was today. Unless you've uh, got a wind turbine farm or you like flying kites, uh, not much in the way of benefit personally uh, to I think that the wind offers, but that wind dies down by tomorrow morning for most locations. Not as windy of a day tomorrow. Still a little in the way of uh, a breeze, but that wind comes back Thursday night into Friday. What also comes back on Friday, some showers and storms. Those scattered showers moving out here this evening. Quiet tonight, nice clear skies. Enjoy the moon tonight and tomorrow night because we probably will not see the full pink moon on Friday because of a front coming through. Thursday, mostly sunny, a really nice spring day. And then Friday, increasing clouds and increasing showers and thunderstorms coming in late. But before we see that front come through, many towns likely hitting 70 degrees. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. This is a beautiful day, especially after that winter that we've had and the kind of soggy stormy spring thus far. Temperatures in the 60s, mostly sunny skies, not as windy. That's a real bonus. And Friday starts out sunny, but showers, thunderstorms coming in late. Look how many locations hitting 70. How about Jordan, Miles City, Roundup and Billings, almost 80 degrees. Some towns will hit 80 in southeast Montana. Dinner plans outside in the evening on Friday, probably not a good idea. Saturday, kind of a day like today. Windy, some clouds, a little sun, some showers, maybe a few uh, hailstones mixed in a few of those showers. And here we are Easter Sunday. Remember I said it still will be good by a hair. Look down to the south, some rain and some snow really south of the Montana Wyoming border. Most of the state is mostly sunny with temperatures in the 50s to around 60. That's a great Easter Sunday here in Montana. Here is the seven day forecast. So a beautiful day tomorrow. Friday, most of it's pretty nice, but we'll have showers and thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. Saturday, a little unsettled in springy Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What a great stretch of weather. It all begins Easter Sunday when things clear out and continues into early next week. Curtis, I'm sorry we weren't nearly as enthusiastic as we could have been earlier, but I we'll think we'll try later tonight. <laughs> we okay. are excited for that forecast. It looks good. And Sam Hoyle joining us now with a check on what's coming up in sports. Yeah, we have a couple college commitments in the area.